Are you looking to spruce up your yard but don't have much landscaping to begin with? I'm Sarah Taylor, Master Gardener and member of the Keep Port St. Lucie Beautiful Committee. I'm definitely no landscape architect and the thought of turning my yard into a garden was daunting at first, but step one is to become inspired. Here are a few tips to start you on the right path. First, become familiar with your own yard. That sounds kind of silly because who doesn't already know what their yard looks like, especially if there's nothing in it. Take the time to observe your landscape at different times of the day. Know which way your home faces and which sections get the most sun. Find shady areas. Walk your yard and see if there are any depressions that may hold water. Knowing these locations will help you determine the correct plant choices in the future. Before you run to the garden center and load up on a truck bed full of plants, make a plan. What are your goals? Do you want shade in the backyard from a tree? Are you looking to add ornamentals to the front for curb appeal? What you'll probably find is that you can break these projects up into sections and focus on them in phases. Observe what you like in others' landscapes. Take a walk around your neighborhood for inspiration. When I go for a run, there's a stretch of homes with nicely manicured yards. Over the course of a year, I've seen different trees come into bloom that I wouldn't have noticed if I hadn't been observing these spaces over time. Consider what you pass by on your way to work. Home landscapes, medians, office buildings. Take note of what you see and how it changes. What's in bloom and when was it in bloom? I love observing the medians on Gatlin Boulevard and Becker Road. These roads have good examples of colorful shrubs and medium-sized trees. When you do get to the garden center, try to refrain from piling up on pots of bright flowers. Stick to your plan and only buy what you came for. I am definitely one to pick up a pot or two of whatever is in bloom, but if I'm not certain where to put the new plants, they end up in back patio purgatory. Now if I find a plant that I like, but I'm not sure how it will fit into the plan, I take a photo or write it down for future ideas. What if you don't know the name of that large, bright orange tree? Ask the neighbor or snap a photo with your smartphone to research later. A trusted online source is the University of Florida's Agricultural Sciences website. Search for the plant name in the search box and find out how big it will grow to be and what maintenance it will require. Port St. Lucie is in USDA hardiness zone 9B. If you're considering a plant that is known to thrive in a northern zone like 6 or 7, you might want to reconsider the purchase as it may not last in our warmer climate. You definitely won't figure it all out in one weekend, but saving ideas and creating a plan will bring you inspiration when you need it. It's the first step to master your garden and keep Port St. Lucie beautiful.